Guide to Plastic Welding 8. Types of Techniques Plastic welding is the process of joining thermoplastic materials using heat or pressure to form a strong and permanent bond. Unlike traditional adhesives, which can weaken over time, plastic welding creates a seamless connection between two plastic pieces. This method ensures durability and strength, making it a go-to choice for various applications. Which types of plastic can be welded? Common plastics that are ideal for welding include polyolefins, polyvinyl chloride, PVC, and styronix. Polyolefins are a group of thermoplastics known for their versatility and ease of processing. They include polyethylene, PE, and polypropylene, PP, both commonly used in a wide range of applications due to their flexibility and durability. Styronix include plastics like polystyrene, PS, and acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, ABS. They are valued for their lightweight properties and are used in disposable products, packaging, automotive components, consumer electronics, etc. Matching the right materials is crucial for a successful welding process. This is because different plastics have varying melting points and chemical properties. Incompatible materials could lead to weak bonds or even damage during the welding process. 8. Different Plastic Welding Techniques Number 1. Ultrasonic Welding Ultrasonic welding employs high-frequency ultrasonic vibrations to melt and join plastics together. Due to mechanical vibrations, a molecular bond is formed between the plastic polymers. Its advantages include speed, precision, and a good safety profile. It also creates high-quality welded joints, improving the aesthetic value. However, it may not be suitable for large, thick plastic materials. It may also not be suitable for thermoplastics with high moisture content. Number 2. Laser Welding Laser welding uses a concentrated laser beam to melt plastic and form a strong bond. Pressure is then applied, and cooling helps to strengthen the welded joints. It is highly precise, making it suitable for delicate applications. It is also suitable for welding plastics with complex designs while giving joints a clean appearance. Nonetheless, it incurs a high initial cost and is not suitable for plastics with thicknesses above 2.5 inches. Number 3. Friction Welding Friction welding involves rubbing two plastic components together to create heat, allowing them to bond. The external pressure applied by moving the plastics against each other causes them to melt and form a permanent joint. It is excellent for joining dissimilar plastics and ensures no warping or distortion. It is also an environmentally friendly option consuming less power supply and consumables. However, it might only be suitable for round bars with similar cross-section or flat butt joints. Number 4. High Frequency Welding High-frequency welding relies on electromagnetic waves to generate heat inside the materials and weld them. It is a rapid and efficient method often used in manufacturing PVC-based products. However, it radiates plenty of heat and may be less versatile for other plastics. Number 5. Vibration Welding In vibration welding, one part is held stationary, while the other is vibrated at a certain frequency and amplitude. This creates friction and heat that melts the plastics together. It is a highly efficient and cost-effective method for larger parts. It is also suitable for welding plastic parts with irregular shapes. However, it may not be ideal for precision work, and its material compatibility is limited. Number 6. Hot Plate Welding Hot Plate Welding utilizes a heated plate to melt the surfaces of plastic parts. After melting the plastics, they are brought together and left for some time to ensure a permanent, molecular, and hermetic bond. It is versatile and suitable for a wide range of plastics. It also produces strong welded joints within a short cycle time. However, it may not be suitable for welding plastics thinner than 0.1 inches. Number 7. Hot Gas Welding this method employs a handheld welding gun to blow gas steam to heat plastic polymers. 
the plastic materials soften and form the welded joint. Hot gas welding is widely used for repairing and joining thermoplastics on site because of its portability and ease of operation. It does not require much technical expertise or heavy-duty machinery. However, the heating rate is slow and may be unsuitable for thicker plastics. Number 8. Spin Welding It is also known as rotational friction welding. It involves rotating one part against another, stationary one under pressure, generating friction and heat to bond the plastics. It is often used for sealing containers and is cost-effective for these applications. It is compatible with many thermoplastics and is highly energy efficient. However, one of the plastic parts must have a symmetrical surface, so it is not suitable for all applications. After learning the various plastic welding techniques, let's explore the different industries and applications where plastic welding is commonly used. Plastic welding plays a pivotal role in the automotive sector, used for vehicle assembly, grills, radiators, battery cases, wheel well liners, bumpers, and more. It is also useful for making sterile equipment, sealed containers, and devices for the medical industry. Plastic welding is employed in making pipes, fittings, and structural components in plumbing and construction works. It is also common to seal plastic packaging for food and consumer goods. In consumer electronics, plastic welding is crucial for creating compact, durable casings. Plastic welded parts like gaskets, tanks, water and misting lines, and PVC fencing have wide applications in agriculture. Plastic welding is a versatile and indispensable technique in modern manufacturing. It allows us to create strong, lasting connections in various plastics, making it useful in various industries. Rapid Direct boasts a skilled manufacturing team proficient in plastic assembling and welding projects. Visit us today for expert consultations and solutions. If you found this guide informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to sharing more knowledge with you in the future.